Hey, it's Minnesota Shark States Vegas here. Hope you're doing well. We're uh, stopping off at Famous Foods today to go ahead and grab a quick little bite because we missed lunch on the way to the Kino wedding and we're starving. So we got to do a little something about that. Let's get started. This is the Ace of Vegas. The Ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to our Patreon members for helping the channel grow. More on that later. Quick, I guess. All right, yeah, darling. So here's how the street food, and I guess the, for the spinners and sharks too, this is how the street food works over here. So you don't necessarily have to roll straight up to them. You actually just go up to the uh, counters over there, and you grab whatever you want. So they got a burger barn over there. You can get some pho to go to. I There's check a spring out this burger barn. Prada. Okay, all right. So we want to check out the burger barn. Yeah, they got Shangdong dumplings, whole nine yards. All right, so they got the standard burger, they got the cheeseburger, they got the Lucky Tiger burger over there. So it's all, it looks like it's all burger patties. Yeah, so it's not gonna, it's a shame. I really like the burger. Ah, uh, it's a shame there. All right. So it's not gonna work for Wonder Woman. We're gonna need to find something a little, uh, a little more veggie friendly down here. So it's all right, we'll do a little more walking. So we have chicken curry. I'm not familiar with Prado over there. I think that's a flatbread. And, oh, hey, look at this. You can actually just tap the screen over here, do a little takeout over here, oh. and you just have to pick the... Uh, that's actually quite handy and efficient. Yeah, I kind of like the uh, idea of Harajuku, uh, Harajuku ramen. Mm -hmm. That's quick and easy. Street bird, if we want, like, uh, ch oh, I kind of want street bird, too, though. That's a good idea. What do they have there? Uh, it, it's just chicken skewers and things like that. It's probably not me. Either. Probably not you. Oh, kura kura yakitori. That might have a little something for you over there. Let's see if that's got anything. So there's the beef tenderloin combos. Uh, there's the pork combo. Yeah, this is also all chicken breasts. Oh, shishito peppers, babe. Nah, not doing it for you. No, not doing it for her. Okay, we tried spinners and sharks. We're working on it. Oh, Street Birds, another chicken place. Oh, they do have Impossible look, Nuggets. Look, yeah. Okay, Impossible Nuggets. You okay if you do that? Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and do it. I'll get the. You know, the best part about this is I can get what I want and just go pick it up from somewhere, and then you can get what you want and then go pick it up from somewhere too. Oh, oh I have to pick it up myself. Oh my no. god. Okay, I will pick it up. All right, so you can get whatever you want, and your husband okay. will pick it up for you. No, no, no. I just don't um, know if I can find the place. Well, it, it, it's all labeled on the... This, this is the struggle of bringing an introvert to Vegas Spinners and Sharks. All right, so yeah, you can pick up some Impossible Chicken. Add that to your list. Yeah, no, I'm... Can just have a well, yeah. Both six. All right, six ones right now. And then you can pick your sauce over there. Okay. Let's see what's in the basket so far. I don't know why it's got the pork joel over here. Let me remove that. Okay, so that's a weird little thing that happened. Okay. So return the basket. Go back. All right, all right. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you. Somehow. We don't know why. Nobody knows why she's waiting for me, but she is, guys. And it means the world to me. That she's always waiting for me. I am not always waiting. Not, not in my time. <laughs> no, I meant in a romantic way. Oh. And then we have the ridiculously oversized or overpriced beverages over here. Five fifty for a Fanta. Yeah, I really just want some water. How much are the beers? Oof. Nope. <laughs> All right. And me, I do want, where was it? It was a Kura Kura. So I kind of want the Angus Tenderloin. Awesome. Shishito peppers. All right. So now we can go to the basket to view the basket. You can also do it down here. And then you can check out there. So we got the Impossible Nuggets. We got the Smart Water, we got an Angus Beef Tenderloin that we can try, and Shishito Peppers over here. That's $26.55, including tax. So we can go, and then you can either pay with your Resorts World app, or you can uh, 
just do it with cash. And then you can add the rewards number or don't. I don't remember my rewards number right now. And we're literally just going to a reception right now. So we're not going to bother with it this time. So I'm just going to tell it no. Okay. And then once you enter your phone number there, you have the choice of credit card or room charge. Today, we're going to go with credit card. And then you just put the credit card. Thank you, dear. And you just go ahead and put the credit card in. Go ahead and add a little tip if you want to. And then you just go ahead and insert or tap your card or whatever. We're going to insert the card now. Aprovado. And you take your card out. And you hand it back to your wife. And then you get a text on your phone. You don't get the text on your phone unless you hand the card back to your wife though, guys. Just in case you didn't know. Okay, looks like check number 2659 is ready for us at Street Bird. Let's go. Okay, here, so we got six chicken nuggets. <laughs> six not-so-chicken nuggets, and then a coleslaw, I guess, with pickles. So that's a thing. And no, not Simone Pickles. Shout-outs to uh, Andy Goodspeed at a Good Times Production, by the way. So we're going to go ahead and try those out, I guess. So, uh, yeah, Wonder Woman, you gotta go on in, you gotta let us know how that uh, not chicken is, not so chicken. She will tell us eventually, Spinners and Sharks, she will tell us eventually after she's done with her pickles. Because that takes precedence, I guess. Here we go. Alright. She's going in. They're okay? They're okay? All right, is that like a two for you or a three for you? Probably a three. Um, they don't have any flavor. They don't have much flavor. Uh, three out of five, no flavor. The texture's nice. It's crispy. All right. Wow, that's that's impressive. The texture is good enough to get it into the three category. Round two. Let's go. Hey, just picking up an order. Uh, twenty six fifty nine. Fifty nine. Yep. All right. Thank you. So we got the Angus tenderloin, and then the shichito peppers over here. I was hoping we get a few more of them, even for the four bucks. I think the uh, Korean uh, chicken place by our house. I think it's six bucks for like a way bigger order. It like pretty much fills this up over here. So I guess we're gonna see how that is. And wow, this is really pathetic for being eight dollars. But I suppose we'll have a bite of it. I'll let you know how it is. All right, guys. So. We got the Angus uh, skewer over here, the yakitori style, so let's have a bite. Yeah, it's definitely charred, um, very lightly seasoned, and just not a large enough portion really for what it is over here. Um, I'll, I'll add the, the shishito sauce to it too. It came with a little bit of sauce over here, as you can see, so you can have a little bite of that. Yeah, that makes it a little bit better, but there's not really enough heat to that over there, I don't think. I don't know, I gotta give this one a 2 out of 5. Wouldn't recommend. Really hoping the peppers are a little better. Alright, and here's the shishito pepper over here. This I'm actually looking forward to. Hoping these are good. Getting kind of excited. Let's have a real quick bite. That is not nearly as hot as I was expecting it to be. I'm actually really kind of disappointed this is nothing compared to my locals. Wow. Like, it's got a nice little grill to it. Ow. I'm really disappointed. Two out of five. I'm really sorry to say. All right, Spinners and Sharks. But yeah, that's about it, I guess, for the Resorts World Food Court. 
I gotta admit, I, I knew there was a lot of hype to it, so I figured I'd give it a little bit of time to kind of work itself out, maybe work out the kinks. I know there were some problems with them getting food to people on time or ever at all when they first launched and all that, and I hadn't heard any difference since then, and it was just, uh, yeah, it just wasn't worth it. Save your, what did we spend, $26 on this? I think it was $8 for the skewer. It was uh, $5 for the water. That's probably the best thing here is the water. Um, so that's uh, $13 already. Then another $4, bring it up to $17 for the uh, peppers over there out of the $26 with the tax and all that. So it must have been about 6 or $7 for the Beyond Meat uh, chicken. And then the, it was 7 for the chicken. So the not chicken is probably the best thing that we've had here. And it's not even real. So make of that what you will. <laughs> what a shame. Hate to say that, but it is what it is. Just save your money for the actual restaurants. Go to Pepper Mill. It's right across the street. You know, if you want cheap beans that are hearty and actually have some flavor to them, just go to Pepper Mill. Call it good. All right there, Spinners and Sharks. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's food review and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. Before I go, I just wanted to take a moment to shout out our patrons, including our newest patron, Stan, at our Vegas Visitor tier. Guys, it means the world to me that you choose to support me in this way and help keep Ace of Vegas independent of the YouTube algorithm. As you know, my content isn't always censor and advertiser friendly, so it goes a long way in keeping the channel running. If you want a more direct hand in keeping Ace of Vegas growing, I'll leave a link to the Patreon in the description box down below. In the meantime, though, how do you guys feel about famous foods at Resorts World? Did you actually find a good place to order and have some tips? Or was your fate the same as ours where you realized that your money would have been better spent elsewhere on the Las Vegas Strip? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time, Spinners and Sharks, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. 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 Viva Ace of Vegas.